Hi, my name is Hannah Rose. Um, I'm a freshman at the University of Georgia and I am a genetics major, nutrition minor, and as you can probably hear, I'm not from here. I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, but I've experienced quite a lot and I haven't really been that open about it throughout my life and recently God just put on my heart that I should just share my testimony with people. Um, and my story starts in 2015 and I remember coming home from a friend's house and my um, dad sat me and my sister down and told us that he had been diagnosed with lung cancer. Um, and I was just really confused at this time in my life because my dad had been really healthy, he'd never smoked a day in his life um, and he really just loved the Lord and he was a pillar in our family and so I was really confused um, and my dad told us that he would have to have an operation to remove the tumor from his right lung um, and so I just didn't really know what to do at that point and I just prayed really really hard because I didn't really understand anything else that was going on um, and a few weeks later my dad went in for the operation and he came out um, and it was a success and he came home um, to start his recovery journey and unfortunately he didn't recover and he actually had to go back into theater and they discovered that there was an embolism in his right lung and um, he after yeah I just didn't really understand why God was hitting us with something else when it seemed like he had already been healed from this um, and I just remember spending that day in my room and I was just crying and I really was trying hard to pray but God just felt really really far away um, and the, it was a really rare complication and my dad almost died but thankfully God brought him out of that operation and he was able to come back home and this time he did recover um, and there was only a third of his right lung left but we just were with him and he recovered slowly and our family grew stronger because of that whole um, journey. Then a year later, in 2016, my dad went for another routine checkup and they discovered a tumor on his left lung. Um, and he was advised to go on chemotherapy tablets and to start radiation treatment, but this treatment wasn't available in South Africa yet. So while my parents were processing that, we were awarded green cards. Um, and it was just amazing looking back on that thinking how God just timed it all and we were in a really dark place but God had kind of brought this light out of the darkness for us and so while my dad was we were waiting for the radiation to become available we started applying and going through the process of moving to America um, and then the radiation treatment became available so God answered um, another one of our prayer and my dad started um, the radiation treatment and then half of our house burned down um, and this was the house that we had been planning to sell so that we could move to America and I just remember this was probably one of the lowest points for me and my family um, my I was in the middle of exams and I'd been undergoing a lot of anxiety ever since my dad got sick and it presented itself in the form of extreme nausea and I would wake up feeling sick and go to bed feeling sick and when my house burned down my anxiety just hit an all-time high and I really did not know how I was going to get through this area of my life and um, I felt really far away from God and my relationship with the Lord was not that strong at that point and when my house burned down I just really struggled to see God in that whole situation um, but my family and I just came to realize that God was very obviously closing that door in our life and that it was time for us to move away from South Africa and he was really shutting, a, sh closing the door in our life in South Africa and we really just needed to rebuild. So we rebuilt the house and my dad completed his radiation and we moved here to America and um, I just knew that it was a time for, it was a new chapter for all of us, a time for us to um, just recommit 
our relationships to the Lord and I really just devoted myself in 2019 to spending a lot more time with God because I had been um, praising Him through all the victories but whenever something presented itself to me that was a struggle or an obstacle I really was n not relying on the Lord and I was rather resenting Him and so I spent a lot more time with the Lord and my anxiety disappeared in 2019 and I just started to realize that God had presented us with a lot of trials but he had also given us the strength to get through all of that. And then at the end of 2019 last year, my dad went off of his cancer pills. Um, so that was really shutting the door on cancer. And we, my family and I were just, we were so grateful to God for, for that and just for growing us as a family through that whole situation. Um, then at the end of last year, my dad sat me down once again and said that they had found a tumor on his thyroid. Um, and this was actually the first time in my life that I actually felt a sense of peace about this um, diagnosis. And I knew that whatever happened, that God was either, either the tests were gonna come back positive, negative, um, he needed to go for a biopsy. And I knew that whether he had, the, the tumor was cancerous, whether it wasn't, that it was gonna be okay because it was in God's hands. And the tests came back and they were positive. And um, my dad was really, really frustrated, but I just knew that we needed to trust in, in the Lord. Um, and my dad's doctor said, you need to go to an ENT because you're gonna have to have surgery to have this taken out. So a few weeks ago, my dad went to the ENT with my mom and they sat down and the nurse walked in and said, why are you here? And my dad said, well, I've got a tumor on my cap. Uh, I've got a tumor on my thyroid and I really need to have it removed. And the nurse sat down and started looking through my dad's files and said, um, I don't understand why you're here. I mean, your tests are all completely fine. There's nothing wrong. And obviously my parents were really confused and they spoke to the doctor and she said, your tests, there's no cancer, the, the, the cancer's gone. Um, and I just want to tell you all that life is going to be hard and things are going to happen and you're not going to think you can get through them but God really does perform miracles and my dad is cancer free and I know that everything that happened happened for the good and of God's ultimate plan because if none of that had happened if my dad hadn't gotten cancer if my house hadn't burnt down we hadn't moved then I wouldn't have felt the need to rebuild my relationship with the Lord and go from someone who'd always believed in God to someone who's was best friends with God um, and now I know that through all of those things that God presented he will always give me the strength to overcome anything um, and he will never give me something that is too much for me to handle um, and that I can do all things through him who strengthens me so yeah <laughs>